Hi, this is Greg. This is the firmly rooted live stream box, which includes a Canon camera and for live streaming, a video. First, carefully remove the camera and place it on the tripod. Next, remove the Teradac and take it to the camera. These are all custom cutouts in the foam and they can become loose, so that's why I said be careful with them. Remove the pin that mounts the Teradac to the camera. Place the Teradac on top of the camera with the mounting screw and tighten it down. with the connectors facing this side. Remove the power supply for the Teradac located here and the power supply for the camera and the power cord for the power supply. Plug the power supplies into your extension cord and plug them in to the devices. The power for the camera is in this back corner. It's right here. You just plug that right in, like that. And the Teradac supply plugs in right here, like that. Now connect the mini HDMI cable from the output of the camera here, here, to the Teradac. Next, take an Ethernet internet cable and plug it in to the Teradac. Make sure that it's mounted correctly and clicks in the place. Not easy to do with one hand. The only thing missing is audio. Take it and plug it into input one on the camera. I know it looks like a bunch of wires, but it's really not that many connections. You have the power for the video, the Ethernet cable, and the HDMI that connects to the camera's HDMI, and audio running into channel one. Channel one is then internally placed on both channels so that it's mono to the live stream, and then the power for the camera goes there. The object was to make a system that all you had to do was come over and turn the camera on. Green light indicates the camera's coming on. Make sure that the lens cap is open right here. Uh, there's actually a shutter on the front here. And then come up to the video. And notice it's not on yet. Come over to the front corner. There's a power switch. Turn it on. Blue light comes on. And you come back around. It says vid you. And the lights start flashing. The camera is on. This is the card slot for recording. It does have one. You can put two SD, standard SD cards in here. Uh, it's always good to have cards in there so that you can record so that if something happens to the stream, you can then later upload the file. Okay, so now back to the video. He's 
searching for internet connection. And it goes through quite a few setup steps. Um, one of the options with the video is called share link and I have that activated. It's a, an extra service costs like ten dollars extra a month. Um, oh hold on I forgot to plug in the other end of the ethernet cable. Okay that's better. Now with the ethernet correctly plugged in uh, you see that it is connecting to share link what ShareLink does is it allows you to send a single stream, a single program, to a server's um, subscription, which then splits it to YouTube, Facebook, and a half dozen other streaming channels. Uh, it, now it's saying it's ready, and the name, that's my name, uh, because I'm the account holder currently for the ShareLink account. You can also turn off ShareLink and have it just stream to YouTube or just stream to Facebook or Vimeo or a dozen other channels, whatever you have a subscription for. Very easy to set up. Um, that's a separate video. Uh, check the indicator lights. This means that the camera is connected. Um, that means that it's encoding. It's ready to stream and that means it's connected to the cloud service. So it's ready to go. All I have to do to broadcast live on Ustream and Facebook at the same time is press the start stop button. One of the other cool things about video of course would be remote control. If you have an iPhone you can download the video app The video app, as long as you are on the same network as the video, shows up here. Shows you the live picture, gives you the uh, IP address and everything of the unit, and lets you know that it's in share link mode. It would say um, YouTube or whatever if it wasn't in share link. You touch on it, it's looking for the device. and this is the control. Now over here if we were uh, had the service going there would be audio indicators so you could tell your your audio levels and all you have to do to go live is press this green broadcast button and you can start your stream. I use this because I usually have other duties uh, at the beginning of the service so I might be 20 feet away from a wide shot on the camera, I'll hit the broadcast button and it'll start streaming. While I'm doing other things, I can walk over to the camera and, and take care of other things at the same time. It's pretty cool. That's the video. After you're done with the, your program, everything comes apart and it has its own little storage slot in the camera case. Now I have back here a diagram that tells you where everything should fit <laughs> uh, and then you just pack it up and take it to the next location. It doesn't take very long to set up. All you need is a Ethernet internet connection. Uh, it will do uh, cellular as well, but uh, if you have an Ethernet connection, uh, that gives you the maximum bandwidth, and you'll be more successful that way. And I hope you are successful. Blessings on your week. Peace in him.